Hi, my name is Scott Erickson with DTG. DTG is a systems integrator specializing in providing digital photographic, fine art and jacle, and digital proofing solutions to the digital color industry. Today we're going to talk about the Epson Stylus Pro 7900 and 9900 printers. These are the latest generation printers from Epson. Basically these two printers are identical in every way except print width. The 7900 offers a 24 inch wide print path and the 9900 offers a 44 inch wide print path. Uh, what we'll go over today are the features as well as demonstrating how to load the paper and ink systems. One of the really nice features about these printers is what's called a spindleless paper load. The old printers and any other printer in the industry features a long stick or a long spindle that you've got to put the paper on. The new 900 series eliminates that spindle and basically uses these end caps to load the paper with. These simply come out of the uh, printer and adjust to two inch or three inch paper cores. So it's very simple to load the paper with these machines. Just put the end caps in this adjusts to whatever the width of the roll that you have in the machine. So I'm just gonna line this up, roll the paper in, and then adjust it to the right and then lock it down. All right. Then what I'll do is just go ahead and load the paper into the machine. Again, in the previous generation it was a little more complicated where I had to line up the paper with a print line or a load line. Now all I need to do is just put it far enough down in the machine and push a button. The machine will actually come out, measure the paper, make sure it's straight in the machine, and then load the paper ready for printing. So that's how easy it is to load roll paper. As with previous generation Epson printers, you can also load sheet down to 8.5 by 11 up to the print width of the printer. You can even load scraps, so oddball sizes, things like that. It's very simple. Just unload the roll paper, drop the sheet in, and you're ready to go. The, uh, the ink system, basically these printers have uh, three different size cartridges that you can use, 150, 350, or 700 milliliter cartridges. You can mix and match because you'll find that you'll actually go through some colors a little bit faster than others. Um, why you would want 700 over 150, um, obviously the cost per milliliter goes down with the bigger the ink tanks that you buy. However, if you cannot justify that 700 milliliter, meaning you don't print often enough, you definitely want to consider the, the smaller ink tanks because you don't want these inks sitting in the machine longer than six months without going through the entire cartridge. So think about that. You may end up mixing and matching and going with some larger tanks and some smaller tanks. To access the ink cartridges, there's a button on the front panel of the printer. I'm just going to push that and basically say open right and left covers and I'll hit enter. There is a little bit of a pause here because the ink system is pressurized. You might have been able to hear that release of the air pressure. Um, once the air pressure is released, the doors will pop open, allowing me to access the ink areas. So in here you can actually see we've got two different size ink tanks. I just push on the cartridge, it pops out, and this would be a 350 milliliter, this would be a 700 milliliter. The 150 milliliters are actually physically the same size as the 350s. It's just basically the 350 has a larger ink tank in it. Now when you purchase the printer, the, um, the printer will come with a set of 110 milliliter starter inks. The initial charge of the ink system will go through about one-fourth to one-third of that ink set. So when you purchase the printer, it's a good idea to go ahead and get some uh, backup ink sets as well. So I'll go ahead and just close this ink cover over here and I'll actually before I do that I'll open it up and you can see the additional ink tanks and cartridges on this side. Once we close that the printer will reinitialize itself all right, and get ready uh, to receive print jobs. So another area in which these printers uh, are a little bit different from the previous generation is I, I qualify these as a lot more electronic. All right? There's a lot more um, intelligence built into the printer. Auto media tracking. You can basically turn on a system in which the printer will track how much paper has gone through. So this is really handy for when you've you're down towards the end of the paper roll and you don't know how much paper you've got left and you're sending a long print job. Well, the printer will actually automatically print a barcode 
on the, on the paper once you uh, initiate the removal of the paper and it'll track how much paper is left on that roll. All right. Once you put that roll back in, it will read that barcode and the printer will know there's say 17 feet left on the roll and then report that back to you so you know how much paper that you've got. Speaking of the Ultra Chrome HDR ink set, what that consists of, as we mentioned earlier, it adds orange and green, but it also consists of three levels of black plus one. The three levels of black are the primary black, the light black, and the light light black. This, these three shades of black do a few things. One, it generates an extremely neutral grayscale or black and white print. Um, it also minimizes what is called bronzing. And um, back in the day, a few years ago, some previous generation printers, when you looked at glossy prints at a certain angle, you would see almost this metallic look or, or bronze kind of color to it. Um, which really didn't look good on the print. So it, the, the additional light, light black and the light black help minimize that. As well as the third thing it does is it reduces metamerism. Metamerism is the effect of when a print looks different under two different or three different lighting conditions. So when we walk a print out into the daylight versus we look at it in our lobby under fluorescent lights, um, they can shift, the prints can shift color. So with the light black and the light, light black, it actually greatly reduces metamerism, so therefore our prints look great in our lobby as well as in our customer's home. All right, so that's the Ultra Chrome HDR ink set. Now the photo black and matte black, all right, this is a 10 plus one printer, meaning it uses 10 colors at one time. The additional black, or the plus one, is the photo black or the matte black. It basically, the printer will dynamically switch between those two blacks depending on the paper that you're printing on. So, for example, if you're printing on a fine art paper, matte black is the ideal black for that kind of paper, and um, uh, you'll yield the greatest print results and the greatest DMAX with matte black on fine art paper. So if you want to switch to photo black, you basically load your photo-based paper in the printer and when you send that print job down specifying photo glossy paper or luster paper, the printer will automatically switch to that photo black channel and therefore give you the best results on that particular paper. So a nice new feature over the previous generation where the printer now dynamically switches before we had to go through a costly ink um, changeover procedure resulting in about $50 of wasted ink. As with previous Epson generation printers, these new printers can print on a ton of different kinds of media. Everything from photo papers to canvas to fine art to matte to backlit film, um, you name it, there is a print media available including silk and fabrics and things like that. Now one of the advantages of, of um, a relationship with our company is at DTG we actually build our own custom ICC profiles for a ton of different medias that we sell. Um, our ICC profile library, just for the 900 series alone, is over 100 different profiles and medias. Um, what we've seen with this new 900 series in building those profiles is anywhere from about a 10 to 20 percent gamut um, increase because of those orange and green inks and because of the way that Epson is now laying down the droplet on these medias. So definitely a big improvement with this new ink set. Um, just as an example, this is a stretched piece of canvas printed on the printer. Um, we've got some backlit film, of course, that you can do dis um, uh, a reverse print and then um, display images behind glass and, and light. Um, fine art papers, photo papers, poster papers, a wide variety of medias. Um, one of the really nice features always has been with Epson printers has been the lack of maintenance that you need to do or the lack of care that you actually have to um, or lack of time that you need to put into to maintaining these printers. They basically take care of themselves. The only maintenance is changing paper, changing ink, and then basically changing what's called the maintenance tank. I'll just walk over to the 7900 and just pull that out for you. The maintenance tank is basically where unused ink goes. Um, unused ink would be something that would be used in a, in a nozzle clog or a cleaning situation, borderless printing, things like that. Um, this will fill up over on average anywhere from four to six months. It's a $39 part and basically you just pull it out and then pop in a new one. It's all water-based, safe to dispose of. Next we'd like to go ahead and talk about some of the options that you can get with the printer. Obviously you can purchase extended warranties, installation and training, um, but what we'd like to show you today is the optional spectra proofer. The spectra proofer is a great product. 
um, for anybody that wants uh, to automatically generate ICC profiles, to automatically certify and verify proof prints. Um, it's a very simple device that plugs in or attaches to the front of the printer. It's important to note that the Spectra Proofer, when you purchase it, is hardware only. Um, you need some kind of software to drive or to talk to or communicate with the Spectra Proofer. Now with the Epson 9900 and 7900 Proofing Editions, they come with that software that drives the Spectra Proofer. You can also drive that Spectra Proofer with an optional RIP software. Um, the way it works is basically with the push of a button, um, a print is sent down to the printer with several targets. These target patches are basically a wide variety of colors that the printer prints out. Once it prints out, the printer automatically feeds the print back up and the spectra proofer will read these targets. Once read in, it feeds that data back to the computer and automatically creates an ICC profile for the printer. Um, this is all done completely automatically and seamless without any kind of user intervention. All right, that ICC profile obviously makes that paper and that printer print a lot more accurately. Now another thing to touch on that the Spectra Proofer does is in the proofing areas, um, for people that are actually doing proofs um, before going to the press, you can actually certify and verify prints as they come off the machine. So as prints come out, you print a, a real quick short target bar and the Spectra Proofer will automatically re uh, read that in and then um, verify that it is within color accurate range of the specifications that you set. So every single print that you pull off of this machine, you can verify and make sure that is, it is within tolerance and a match to the press. All the new Epson printers, including the 900 series, come with a internet-based software package called MyEpsonPrinter.com. This software allows you to automatically track ink and paper usage, therefore tracking your cost based on down to the milliliter of ink used and paper. Simply plug in your cost that you pay for ink and paper, and MyEpsonPrinter.com will report back to you every single print job's cost. So that wraps it up for the Epson 900 series demos. Um, I'm Scott Erickson with DTG. Please feel free to give us a call if you have any questions or need some pre-consultation on how the 900 series can help benefit your business and increase your profits. Our toll-free number is 800-681-0024 or you can visit www.dtgweb.com. There you can shop as well as use our support ticket system for technical support and ICC profile access.